hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Angela welcome back to Angela at home it's fall it's cold it's it's dark early so we're going to be cooking and cleaning tonight we're gonna to be making one of my favorite soups I'm sure you guys have heard of it it's the Zeppa Toscana it's the uh, Olive Garden dupe it's one of my favorite soups. So I got all my ingredients here. I've got bacon, Italian sausage, an onion, some minced garlic, uh, some russet potatoes, chicken broth, seasonings, uh, heavy cream, kale, and yeah, that's about it. So let's get into some cooking. Something I'm proud of. I wish we were living in my dreams. Cause in another world, you'll come with me and we'd be out of sight, out of mind. Driving windows down with your head in mind. Out of sight, out of mind. So, as you can see here, I'm just chopping up some onions and I like to chop them up pretty fine, like not too small, but pretty small just because you don't really want big chunks in your soup. Now I'm going ahead and cutting up some potatoes. I can't remember how many potatoes that it's that I cut up, but the recipe calls for four large. And so mine were on the smaller side, so I think I might have had more than four, but I like to cut them in smaller pieces, as you can see here. But my life is so complicated I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free Feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with the house key Have something I'm proud of Next up, we got the bacon, and I actually got this bacon from Aldi. Um, I think I mentioned this before in my first video, but I am an avid Aldi shopper. Um, this bacon was like $4. I don't know about you guys, but prices of everything is just going up. So anytime I can find a steal, I'm going to go for it. So yeah, I'm just chopping the bacon up. Here you just see me putting the potatoes in the water so they don't like get all brown and dark um, because I'm not ready to use them yet. Get out of bed, there's too much in my head. all right so i'm just frying up the bacon and i like mine nice and crispy we're gonna fry this up and then set it aside this is what will go kind of on top of the soup as a garnish um but we are gonna save some of that bacon fat not all of it but we're gonna save some of that bacon fat um to cook our meat in I'm always judging and degrading. I should stop all that, I'm sure. But I'm just doing Okay, so I took most of the bacon fat out, and now I'm just gonna put the Italian sausage in there and ground it all up. All I need is 21 days, and I'm fine. Everyone, I'ma 
All I need is 21 days and I'm fine Genuine you everyone, I'ma still need more time Every single year, yeah, never Alright, so I removed the Italian sausage and now I'm just putting my onions in there. There's still a little bacon fat, a little bit of Italian sausage. That's fine. It just makes it taste better. And we're going to saute those onions for a little bit until they brown up. are all sauteed we're gonna go ahead and put in some chicken broth oh you guys it's starting to smell good already and we haven't even just put our magic to work yet now I'm putting in the potatoes and we're gonna let the potatoes simmer until they get soft you guys know potatoes need a while to just kind of cook and stew in there so we're going to let those potatoes get a little bit softer, probably about 10, 15 minutes. can relate but I like to try to clean up and you know just straighten up as much as I can as I go so it makes a quicker cleanup process after dinner is over so I'm just cleaning up and kind of straighten up as much as I can while those potatoes are cooking Another thing I like to do while I'm cooking is go ahead and prepare my husband's lunch. So I make my husband a lunch every night, um, you know, before the next work day. And this is a Sunday night, so he does have work tomorrow. So I like to go ahead and try to prepare his lunch while I'm cooking dinner. A lot of times, sometimes, you know, I'm not able to, but if I can, I do just so I can get one thing checked off my list for the night. So that's what I'm doing right now is just preparing his lunch.
Okay, so we are back to the soup. The potatoes are done, they're pretty soft. And so now we're going to go ahead and add that Italian sausage back to the pot so we can just soak up all the flavor of the broth, the onions and the potatoes and just kind of let that cook for a little bit. I'm also gonna add some seasonings in there, um, including some red, some red pepper flakes. I love a good kick, a good spice. I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments below if you like spicy things. So yeah, again, you see me kind of cleaning up and straightening up. Um, dinner is just about ready, so I'm just adding just the last few ingredients, which is the the cream and the kale. And then after I add those, they just cook for another you know five or ten minutes just to kind of let everything get soft and you know kind of blend in together. And then dinner will be ready. officially ready you guys i absolutely love this soup it is so good and so easy so hearty i just love it i will make sure to put the description i will make sure to put the recipe in the description box below i mean look at that um i like to use dinner at the zoos recipe there's a ton you'll find a ton on pinterest but i'll put the exact one that i used oh my gosh you guys we are going to devour this because there's so many ways time to add that bacon in there oh it's so crunchy and so good you guys like you have to do the bacon you know if you eat bacon or pork it just it just sets it off also you can add like some cheese parmesan cheese if you want on the top i didn't hear but it's another thing you can do to just kind of just add an extra oomph to the soup also i didn't mention this earlier but i did put some garlic bread in the oven so we'll have that with the soup all right so now we're in post dinner and the kitchen is an absolute mess as you can see it's pretty late and it's sunday and so i will not be doing a deep clean but i just absolutely cannot leave the kitchen like this i will not forgive myself monday morning if i leave my kitchen like this so i'm just gonna do a quick clean um the kitchen get the dishes in the dishwasher i don't know about you guys but i like to kind of soak quick clean my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. I grew up with my mom not even using a dishwasher so I can be pretty skeptical of the dishwasher so let me know in the comments below if you guys kind of have that reservation about the dishwasher. So I'm just putting the dishes in the sink you know just so that they can soak a little bit, rinse them off before I put them in the dishwasher.
finish making my husband's lunch I only think I was able to make the sandwiches so I'm just packing the sides and he's pretty easy he doesn't really care what I make as long as he doesn't have to think about it so I usually like to pack him a variety of fruits snacks chips water power rates gator rates things like that so I'm just getting his lunch together um, just finishing that off before I end my night these sheets holding you holding me easy love Wednesday night just hanging out Us two Just got home and you turn on some blues Then tell me you're hungry I go order Chinese Wednesday night it's easy love with you Okay, okay, okay I'm your sunshine mixed with a little hurricane White hot so like I mentioned, I was a little bit too tired to go ahead and like do a real clean of the kitchen, but just doing a really quick clean here. I did want to get some like of the bigger stains off of the stove top that I saw, just that I made, you know, spillage that I made while I was cooking, but yeah, nothing, nothing too major. It's late. I will handle this another time. <laughs> Holding me easy love. Holding me tangled up in these sheets Holding you, holding me Easy love Like a drive in the sun Windows down, music on We've got nothing but time Feel the breeze in my head Baby, we be cruising Oh, 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 na 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 so this is about as good as it's gonna get this late on a sunday night i've got to prepare for a long work day long work week so this is about as good as it gets i was satisfied um yeah the fall in this shit so do you hold in me is it love to top the night off i'm just going to have some cookies i forgot to mention while i was kind of straightening up i did go ahead and put these cookies into the oven um just like a nice little sweet surprise for my husband he likes a little snack you know kind of at the end of the night before he goes to bed so i thought this would be a nice treat for us um yeah
so after this I just went ahead and ended my night went upstairs did a little skincare and really just got ready for the work week it was a really quiet night it was just the two of us and so I just want to say thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe